this is Sharon from craftingcreativeideas.blogspot.com. I'm here today to be, bring you another one of my instructional videos for my series, my Wow That's Cool video series. Today I'm going to show you how to do the pinwheel technique on a card. I'm not going to duplicate the exact card. You can go to my um, blog. I will leave the link to that and you can find all the supplies for this. But once I show you the technique to making the card, you can pretty much do this with any des uh, designer paper that you want and you're going to come up with all kinds of ideas. On this card I actually used the flower shop uh, stamp to uh, stamp the flower on here and I used the pansy um, punch to punch it back out. This card was done with Calypso Coral um, but you you know all that supply list will be on my blog. Mainly this um, video that I'm making right now is just going to be a technique video, a quick one to show you how to make the pinwheel itself. Okay, so we're going to get started. And I'm just going to use a piece, some scraps here, four by five and a quarter, because that would be the top layer of the card. Then you're going to need two pieces, depending on the colors that you use. Now I could have used colors to match the background of this or but I'm just using scraps like I said so I'm just using some white scraps the, you need two pieces that are two and five eighths by two and five eighths and then you're going to need four either you're going to need eight of one pattern or four of two different patterns and you want four and a quarter by four and a quarter you can punch these out with your um, one and a quarter inch square punch and if you don't have that then just cut them out on the, your trimmer so we're going to get started, shall we? So we're going to take just a teeny bit of adhesive, just to make it uh, just a little bit of sticky on the back so this doesn't move on you. And we want to place this with a triangular shape onto the paper. But we're not going to press anything down hard because that way you can still move it out around later. And the same thing, I just put a teeny little pit piece of adhesive on the back with my snail. And then this one is going to go on the top of it, centered and squared off. Okay. Now you're going to take your first little one by one and a quarter by one and a quarter. I have like a pattern, and then I mean they're both patterns, but I have more one that has a little more solid than the pattern. You're going to start with the so the solid, but you could start with ever whichever one you want, and we're going to just line this up to. The square. And you don't want to press this down hard because we're going to have to get underneath this left edge at the end. Okay, so we're going to press the rest of this down like so. Then we're going to take a little bit of adhesive on the next pattern piece. And then we're going to line this up on an angle with the triangular shape. I think you're starting to see where I'm going with this. Then we're going to rotate and go back with the solid again. And you want adhesive. Snail on the back of that. And then you're going to run that one. I'm going to turn this this way. This way. And now we're going to go to the next spot and we're going to use our flower. And come back around this way. Then we want to go to the one with the stripes. And let's see, I'm going to run this this way. And now we want to go back to the flowers. And you're going to line that one up to the edge of the point that's sticking out. Now we want to go back to the solid. And then the final one, I'm 
you're going to line this up but when you do this for the top of the point you want to pick up the edge of the very first one that you started and you want to push that underneath there and then now you can go ahead and press them all down solid. Now all you have to do is add something into the center while you want to uh, brad in. And because of all these the little pieces, all of this has, um, you've got it all glued together now. Uh, if you needed to move this, you certainly could because we only put a little bit on the back and, and I would, you know, pick it up and move it to exactly where you want and then permanently move it um, to where you're, in fact, I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to just going to move this up a little bit higher up, up on the paper like so. There you go. It's the cutest thing and it's so simple. Now just, I would put a, a cute little button in here or like I did with this one, I cut a little pansy flower out and then put the button with a little bit of twine in there. And, um, but at least this, this will show you how to make the pinwheel um, part of it uh, so that you can make it in any color that you want. I hope that this has been helpful for you and I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel and possibly even to my blog, craftyandcreativeideas.blogspot.com. And I'd love to hear your comments. If you have time to comment, that'd be great. If you don't, if you could just even push thumbs up, I sure would appreciate it. And until next time, God bless.